Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Jessica and I am a fashion and lifestyle blogger here on YouTube. I love making videos that help you live your most fabulous chic life without breaking the bank. So today we have a Abercrombie haul. I am going away on vacation to the Caribbean in less than a week. And Abercrombie was so kind as to send over some pieces for me to wear while on my trip. Now it is kind of a weird time of year to be doing a haul for a warm weather vacation. And it's also kind of a weird time of year to be shopping for clothes for a warm weather vacation because everything is still like winter, winter, winter. Thankfully though, Abercrombie has some fun new arrivals that are perfect if you are looking to sort of either get a little jump start on your spring fashion or if you are headed somewhere warm and you want to find some cute pieces for your trip. As always, everything that I'm gonna share will be down in the description box linked so you can shop it all very easily. I'll have the sizes that I got in each thing as well as my sizing information. So let's just get into this Abercrombie haul. Right off the bat, this white dress is, I think one of my favorite things that I've ever gotten from Abercrombie. Um, I am a sucker for a good white sundress. I just find them to be the perfect, not only staple for spring and summertime, but also just the perfect thing to bring on vacation because they're just so easy to wear. They just are really great for all different sort of situations that you might find yourself in because they could be worn casually, but you could also accessorize them in such a way so as to make them feel a little bit more dressed up for maybe a nicer dinner. This one at the time of this filming is sold out out, but I'm hoping Abercrombie restocks it because I just don't understand how this sold out so quickly in this midi length, which I have, and they also had it in a shorter mini length too. This dress is such a classic. So I'm wearing a small and it is the perfect size for me. The waist has a lot of stretch to it. It's elastic. So it's very forgiving, which makes it even more comfortable. Um, the fabric itself is just this really soft cotton. Like it just feels so soft and so good on my skin. I cannot stress enough. I love that it has a little bit of a double lining in the skirt because it is white. Sometimes things that are white can be a little bit see-through. I wouldn't recommend wearing anything other than nude colored garments or undergarments under this dress because I think it will still show through. But as long as you're wearing something like a bra and underwear that matches your skin tone, it will all be very, very seamless. But it's such a pretty dress. The neckline just hits so perfectly. It's like just at that right place. It's not too crazy low cut, but it gives enough you know, of your chest to be very flattering. I personally find that having a little bit more of an open neckline is flattering to me because I have a bigger bust and it's a weird visual uh, illusion, I guess, is when you have more of your chest exposed, when you have a bigger bust, it kind of minimizes your bust. So a little pro tip for all of you ladies out there with boobs, but um, the sleeves are so cute. They're elastic as well. They have this really cute little fine detailing um, where it's sort of like an open lace weave. It's very, very small there. You can see, and it's also echoed in the tiers of the skirt. It's so floaty. It's so lightweight. It will be perfect on those hot Caribbean days. And it, I will definitely be wearing this all throughout the next or the coming up spring and summer. And I'll be wearing it a ton because it has pockets. Yeah, it has pockets and it just is so comfortable. I just, I don't want to take it off. Just a little shout out to the shoes I'm wearing this with. I just got these in from Dolce Vita today. Um, again, what a fun pair of shoes for the spring and summer, but of course for a vacation. Um, I love that they're not too crazy tall. Like they are tall, but you can see um, because they have a platform, the actual angle that your foot is going to be at is going to be more shallow than how the heel appears, which is great. You're getting all that height without all the uncomfortability of your, you know, wearing a really high heel. They are this great like natural raffia woven straw. So they have a casual vibe and I think these will be really great for all of my sundresses that I'm packing on this cruise. And they're super comfortable and easy to walk in as well. So such a good thing to have. And I think these will be so cute as well with like more casual outfits, with jeans, with all kinds of stuff in this coming up spring and summer months. It's so adorable. And if you watched my recent shoe declutter, don't judge me. I did just get rid of uh, so many shoes. If you want to watch that video, I'll put it right here. But, you know, I got rid of so many shoes so I could make room for the new ones, right? I picked up this dress because I thought it might be a nice option for like a little bit more of a dressy dress while on my trip. And I was drawn to it because it sort of reminded me of the dress that Kira Knightley wears in, um, what is the movie I'm thinking of? <sighs> I literally can't think of it right now, but 
if you've seen that movie, you know, the green dress that she wears, it's so stunning. Actually, I have a little bit of something to say about this. In Style recently said that that dress was like, they think is like the number one most iconic dress of all movie history, like going in front of um, the breakfast at Tiffany's uh, Givenchy dress and some others, which I'm like... <laughs> No, it's beautiful, but it's not all that. Let's not get crazy. This just gives me the modern sort of version of that dress. I got it in a small and it runs a little tight up top. Um, <clears throat> normally the size chart on Abercrombie kind of always recommends me to get size small, but this one like in the back, it just feels really tight. And in the chest, it feels tight in the straps. It just all up here around where my chest is, it feels tight because of my boobs, I'm guessing. So if you have a little bit more of a chest, and if you are a little bit more hippie as well, I might suggest you size up in this dress because of the way that it's cut, just to give yourself a little extra room. Like there's no way that I'm gonna be able to wear <clears throat> a strapless bra underneath this because there's just no space for it. Hopefully as I, you know, continue on my little fat loss weight training journey that I'm on and decrease a little bit more of my body fat, then it will get a little bit looser. But as of right now, it just feels a little bit uncomfortable. But that being said, it is a really pretty dress. And hopefully as it loosens up a little bit on me, I will love it a little bit more. But it just has this gorgeous green chiffon overlay over like a, a maxi solid like column style dress. But the, the overlay, ugh, overlay, kind of gives it a little bit more of an A-line feel to it, but it almost also has like a bias cut. So it's just really pretty. It's a simple dress, but just the details in how it's cut and the tailoring of it make it a little bit more interesting. Um, it has this really nice cowl neck, which I think just makes it a little bit more soft, a little bit more delicate and feminine feeling. Um, and you can adjust the spaghetti straps. I just have them adjusted to make it feel like things are somewhat supported because like I said, can't wear a strapless bra with this. A pretty dress. I wish it fit a little bit better, but again, I'm a little bit between sizes right now, I think, um, just where I'm at in my weight loss journey. So hopefully as I continue, I will fit into this a little bit better. If you're enjoying this video, I would absolutely love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel so you can get more fun fashion hauls and inspiration just like this one. I upload two to three times a week and I know I am always bringing you all some fun outfit ideas and the best affordable fashion I can find on the web. So definitely subscribe if you are interested in seeing more of that. Give this video a thumbs up and if you're not already following me on Instagram or and or TikTok, my handle is Miss More Style. I am Miss More Style on all social media platforms. Of course, I will put all the links to those down in the description box so you can go hang out with me on your other favorite social media platform if you haven't already. And let me know you said hi and you came from YouTube. Okay, let's get back into the haul. Another complete wardrobe staple for any warm weather vacation or the spring summer season is a pair of linen slacks. Uh, Abercrombie has some really great more tailored pieces on top of their jeans which I have raved about so much like Abercrombie is probably one of my go-to places for finding jeans that fit so so well. Um, so I wanted to try a little bit of like I wanted to try a pair of their trousers. Grabbed this pair in white in a size 6 or a 28 one of the two, but in regular length, I'm always so torn with the regular length versus long length at Abercrombie, which by the way, if you don't know this about Abercrombie, they do petite, regular, and long length inseams. I got the regular length in these because I, I don't know, I just, I never know which one to get. And I almost wish I would have gotten the long just because they're not too short, but they hit right at my ankle. And I just want them to hit a little bit longer I don't know, maybe it's for the best because this way they are white. They won't drag on the ground and get as dirty, but I don't know, I just kind of wish they were just a smidge longer. So if you're 5'7", um, I would say 5'7", five, 5'8", five, I think 5'8", is where like the long lengths really start. But if you're about my height, maybe consider how you want the pants to fit you. Do you want them to kind of pull a little bit and be that little longer look or do you want them to be perfectly sitting right at your ankle. It's up to you. Um, but the linen on these is so soft. It feels so good. They are lined as well. So that keeps them from being a little too see-through. Um, and they also have them in some other colors. So if you wanted to get like another, like I think they have cream and they have tan and I think they have a really pale blue color. Just a great piece. And I know with linen white pants, I can mix and match them with so many different tops and 
different outfits for when I'm on vacation, but also throughout the spring summer months. Wearing it with this sort of see-through white button-up shirt that I thought would be the perfect piece to grab for completing not just this look, but just wearing on my trip. Um, I think the sheer top is just, it's just the right amount of sheer. So I've got my little free people bralette on underneath so you can kind of see the lace and it's not so sheer that you can really see it, but it's sheer enough that you can see just the pretty details in that lace. So I think this would be a really cool shirt to have. If you wanted to pop it on over, like let's say you had your bikini on with a pair of pants and you wanted to just throw something on over the top half, but you still kind of want to show your bikini top off, this would be so cute. I probably will be wearing this over my swimsuits with like my cutoff shorts, which I'll show you in the next bit. Um, but I love this. It's such a cool piece. A white button up shirt is such a classic staple and to have one in my wardrobe that's a little bit more sheer so that I can kind of do like the peekaboo of the underlayer as like a little bit more of like a sexy vibe, I think is so fun. And I love this outfit together, just white on white for vacation, especially when you're going somewhere warm and tropical, I think it's just so crisp. It looks so just chic and classic and it, it looks expensive too, I think. Like a white on white look with just some nice accessories it really completes the look. And I thought that this little sailor-ish hat that I just got from Lack of Color was the perfect thing, especially for a cruise to kind of give that like nautical fun sailor vibe, but in a chic way. Ugh, I love this hat so much. So remember how I was just talking about their Curve Love line for their jeans? I am always having the hardest time to find good jean shorts that actually fit me in the waist, but also fit in the booty and they're not too tight on my upper thighs. I cannot tell you how many pairs of short jean shorts I've had where I feel like I have to constantly like pull them down because they're like riding up. I mean, comment and let me know if this is a problem that you have too. But I feel like when you have thicker upper thighs, it can be so difficult. So I got these jeans. They are the mom short in a size six. Um, the Curve Love, they're high rise and they're pretty short, but I feel comfortable in them because when I walk, I don't find that my inner thigh area, it's like all bunching up there. It just lays right. And I think the reason why they don't feel too constricting on my upper thighs is because they have this little cut, cut on the outside of the short to just allow the short to expand out a little bit. That way it's not like holding on for dear life at like that thickest part of my leg, if that makes sense. Usually I size up in short jean shorts because I want the leg to fit a little bit looser and not super tight. And with this, I don't feel like I have to. So that is so awesome. These are definitely on the short side, but you know what? I'm just going to flaunt it. And I do not have my spray tan yet. So I apologize for how white my legs are. They will look better when I'm on the cruise. <laughs> they also have these mom shorts in a longer length. So if you're not really into how short these are, they have a longer one. I will link that also below. But again, if you're curvier, Abercrombie's jeans are just the go-to. Styled it in a cute sort of like daytime outfit that I could see myself wearing maybe into a port or on like like during the daytime on the ship. So again, still wearing this like free people bralette, which I think is a really cute. You can wear it so many different ways, but you could substitute the bralette for, you know, a bathing suit um, with the jean shorts. And then this really fun kimono that I also got from Cupshe, which just makes a really fun sort of statement uh, outer layer, I guess, if you will. And then with my little handy dandy vacation purse, I feel like I've taken this with me all over the world. It always goes with me on vacation, especially when I'm going to like warmer, more exotic tropical places. It works so well. I'll link it down below. It's, it's just such a good little bag and it just goes with any cute summery casual daytime outfit perfectly. I added the pom-poms to mine for extra color and flair because you know me. The shoes that I'm wearing with this look are also new. They are from Dr. Scholl's, which they gifted these to me for the trip. And I wanted to shout them out because they are ridiculously comfortable and they have a little bit of a heel on them. So if you're looking for a good pair of sandals that are cute, that are feminine and stylish, that have a little bit of height to them, but are actually comfortable and you could walk in them, these are the ones. I mean, seriously, so comfortable. I love this sort of neutral bone color, but they have them, I think, in like a brown and a black, I wanna say. Um, just the perfect vacation shoe. I could totally see myself walking around in these for a good length of time, just based on how they feel on my feet. They've got some nice cushion and they will literally go with any casual summer outfit. They're so versatile. So if you know me, then you know I love a blazer moment and I love more than just a blazer, the matching 
suit look. So I found this beautiful royal blue blazer on Abercrombie. Knew that I needed it in my life. I mean, gorgeous. And this will look so pretty with the blue water on the ship. Then I saw that there's a matching skirt that goes with it. And I read the reviews. People were raving about it. They loved it, blah, blah, blah. So I thought, let's give it a go, both of them. First of all, the blazer is incredible. And I definitely am keeping it. I love just the construction of it. I think it fits really, really well. The shoulders hit just where you want blazer shoulders to hit. Um, and of course, the color is stunning. It just has the one button um, down the front. And it's pretty simple and it's lightweight. So I think it'll be a great blazer to have in my wardrobe. But the skirt just really missed the mark. Again, I ordered a small because that's what the size chart sort of instructed me to do based on my measurements. And it's a little tight and I should have known better because something like this, I just should know. Like something that is this short and is concentrated like all on my booty and my like hips and upper thighs, like that is just the thickest part of me. So I definitely have to size up when things are just sitting right there like that, if it makes sense. Just gonna slip into a different little mini skirt because I just feel so much like that one is way too much leg. The thing about these, which is nice, it is really short, but it's a skort. So there's little shorts underneath. So even though it is very short, you don't have to be too afraid of flashing anyone because it's got those built-in shorts, but it is snug. So I definitely needed at least a medium. And even then, I just don't know if I love the way that it looks on me. I guess if it was a little bit looser, I might feel like it looks a little bit classier, but I was kind of going for like a fun nautical sort of look with the matching suits and the bold striped tank underneath. The blazer, yes, the skort, eh, might not be the right one for me. Last little shoe shout out that I have to give is another pair of Dolce Vita heels that I recently got. These would be so perfect, or they will be so perfect for all like my dressier nighttime looks while on the trip. Um, look at the braided little straps. They're so sparkly. I don't know if you can really see it in the camera, but holy crap, so, so sparkly. They've got this metallic silver leather, and then the heel is a chunky metallic silver. And can I just say, these are so comfortable. I don't know where they've been my whole life, but this is the Paley style from Dolce Vita. They come in black rhinestones. They come in all different like neutral colors, some like solids. So not just the super sparkly style, but if you're looking for a good pair of heels that are easy to walk in, not too high, but still just so flattering and so like current and chic, this is such a good pair. They're linked down below definitely grab yourself a pair. You'll thank me later. Trust me. I got some really great pieces from Abercrombie for my trip. I'm so excited. By the time you see this video, I may currently be on said trip. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure to go to Miss More Style. You can sort of see our fun cruise adventures in real time on my stories there. If you loved this video, I know you're going to love my recent Walmart haul. I found some really fun, affordable finds there that are more current for this winter season that we're in. So go ahead and check that one out next. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys over here. And if not, see you on the next one. Bye.